Morning guys and welcome back to another episode of Tarmac Obsession on this exceptionally rainy Sunday morning here in Western Australia. Um, this rain, there's this tropical cyclone up north and it's just come hammering through so we're copping a little bit of it at the moment. Um, as you can see, the skyline is back and we're going to get a bit of work done on it today. Basically all I need to do today is whip the manifold off just so I can get that faced up and get a new gasket on. Um, before I went to the exhaust shop, I put a bit of cooling in just to see everything sort of sealed up nicely and it leaked through a galley uh, into one of the studs and out of the stud and out of a nut. So I've got to get that off and get that sorted. So that's going to be a pretty easy job for me to do this morning. But I'll give you a quick run through of where we were and what we finished up at, at the exhaust shop. I'm going to show you what was done. Uh, then we can get on to getting this to happen running started. Let's do it. Come on. Stay tuned for the episode. So you can see what we had done. So this little bit of pipe in here to connect up the airflow meter, R33 or Z32 airflow meter. Um, all the piping down there, all in stainless. So I'm gonna refinish that all in black. Um, this side all done here, up and into the to the manifold here. So basically when I filled it up with, uh, with coolant, I ended up with a leak down here somewhere um, at one of these galleries. I think it's this one here. Um, and it was coming out the top of the nut. So I just need to pull that manifold off, like I said, face it up and put it all back together. Shouldn't take me too long to get that off, I don't think. It would have been super handy to do it when it was sitting on the engine stand, but I never thought about it. Never mind. Um, also got the exhaust all plumbed up. And it's all connected up down there now. So I can get underneath, give it a look. Oh. Can't really see, but I, I, I did, that's the screamer pipe which I'll plumb back into the to the manifold, uh, to the exhaust so it's not venting to the atmosphere. So it's all done now. So, we can get this off, which is not gonna be too long a video really. And um, yeah, get it, get it sorted out. That took me a whole lot less time than I thought, so just over 30 minutes. I have got the uh, the hands to get in there. Not having big hands doesn't help, trust me. Um, so this was the one that was leaking through this gallery here. But I think it's just this gasket, this shit. This is a gasket that was supplied with the, the manifold. So I'm gonna get a genuine Nissan gasket um, get, and seal it all in properly because I think that's where the problem was. Small fixes, I guess. It's not too hard to sort it out. Did get to plug that in, which I'd forgotten about. One of the knock sensors wasn't plugged. That's good. Let's get that off. Yeah, it's a shitty gasket. It's just like a shitty steel gasket. It probably doesn't need to be faced, but I'll do it anyway. Um, and with the new gasket on here, so I'm just going to strip all the all little bits and pieces off this, and then I can send that down and get done. That is ready to go to the engineering shop and get faced. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but I just want to make sure it's right because I want to pull it off again. Um, I'll get a new manifold from Nissan tomorrow, so when that gets back, we'll be able to throw that back on later this week. Then hopefully we can get some coolant in it, some oil in it, top the gearbox oil up, and head on up to get the wiring sorted. I am pretty excited the way it's coming along. It's actually, it's actually coming along pretty good. It does, yeah, a bit excited, which is good. Um, that's some stuff. Well, I haven't really done much on the Dado. Like I said, I bust my back uh, in the last video and it's still 
still not good even like working for an hour today it's still pretty sore um, but I've got to get the the bumpers and the spoilers on uh, I've got to make a couple of brackets up for the front uh, the back the back bumper actually comes with these tabs uh, already already fitted so they they line up with these holes on the side but the front you get the same holes and a mounting system here but there's no there's no tabs on the front bumper um, it might be okay but it, I think it will shake around on the side like that just because of the fiberglass so I've got this uh, aluminium flat bar which I'm just gonna make some little brackets out uh, pretty much bolt through the outside come in and up and then bolt it in through the guard I'm excited to get it done but like Big Brad said Rome wasn't built in a day so don't rush it but it is coming along pretty good it's clean as a whistle which is good um, I'm excited about this car I saw one on the street a couple of weeks ago in Cottesloe and it just looked amazing so you don't see them too often anymore which is good it makes it a bit rarer thanks again for watching today's video guys I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my videos um, Going to be some good content coming up for Skyline, like I said, get that manifold sorted, wiring sorted, get it running, started, get it tuned. Um, I've got some inquiries underway to get the full GTR body kit for the car, so hopefully I can get that ordered in the next couple of weeks. Probably, the guy reckons, about a 12 week lead time, so that's okay, I'm happy for that. Uh, give me a chance to strip it all down and clean it properly. Um, next video will probably be on the Z. I'm going to do some work on getting seals and the bumpers, uh, seals, some seals fitted under the bonnet and the bumpers on. So that'll be the next video for the Dado. So stay tuned to uh, subscribe to my Instagrams down here, Car Maker Undersort Obsession. So I hope you enjoy my photos I pop up on there. But I will see you later in the week. Thanks for watching.